Roger, thanks for dropping by. We have an unboxing video, which I know the unboxing videos are very, very popular. So while I've got your undivided attention, <laughs> these cutting room floor clips are just getting thrown together and I've had a look back over some of them and they don't come over in the way I would like to do my videos but I don't want to waste the clips and lots of people have said carry on doing them but what I'm going to do is set them up so that they look different so basically they look like what they are a set of random clips just thrown together for people to enjoy or not and I've set up a separate playlist so they can live in there I don't know how many people use playlists I don't I don't I mean I create some and I stick videos in them. I don't know how many people go to a playlist. Most people just see the latest vids that have been done. That's what I do. <clears throat> but anyway, some slight changes. Quite a bit of trouble doing starts and ends to lots of videos, especially if I'm going to make them a bit shorter, like I said. Um, I mean, I reckoned about 10 minutes for it 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 attention span, but a lot of people said they actually enjoy the longer videos. They sit down and or make a meal of it, have a coffee and a rest and whatever. So uh, probably split the difference and keep them to about 15 minutes, something like that. Um, but to get round the start and ends um, from suggestions by other people, um, I'm going to change my start up, which probably means having a different piece of music, and include my, hi this is Roger, thanks for dropping by, as part of a start. So that when I open that vid, all that's already done. And I thought, because some people have commented that I'm never going on about and don't forget to do the like and don't forget. Well, it's written in my end banner. Um, I don't say it. Um, but many people do and I don't. So I'm feeling a bit left out. <laughs> so I can record that bit of soundtrack as well and include that on the ending, if you see what I mean. So my start and my end is, is ready made. And although it will be less personal, it's still me. You know, it's still me saying, hi, this is Roger, thanks for dropping by. It's the fact that it's pre-recorded. And that's going to save me so much time and messing about and filming at silly times of day when it's either not got light or too dark to film. So that's what I'm going to do with those clips. I'm not going to stop them, but I am going to make them look and feel different because they are. And then other videos that get what I consider a little bit more professional attention on a specific subject matter or anything like that, I'll stick to my normal format. Anyway, <clears throat> this is a haul of one, the most expensive orchid I've ever bought, and the glass of wine is in trepidation, because if this isn't a good orchid, I am not going to be very pleased, not with what I paid for it. So, without further ado, let's see if we can do this without slicing anything or knocking anything over. Hopefully not making a mess because I'm not out in the grow room at the moment. <coughs> I've sealed that up because it's doing very nicely out there today. <coughs> Whoa, let's get that wine out of the way. <laughs> the flap of the box actually knocking me wide out of there. Right, so that's where it's from. Very, very small personal seller, basically. Waited three weeks for an answer from my email. Great apologies for the delay and everything like that. So, although it was a little bit annoying, the guy did get back to me. And he sent me pictures, which not all people would have done. You get a lot of eBay sellers that just say, you will receive plant like on pictures. And you can't get a picture of the actual plant. Well, I said, I'm not buying it unless I have a picture of the plant. Not at that price. Oh God, I can see we're going to make a mess here. <coughs> See, it's actually oh it's actually very well packed. Now where the hell am I gonna put all that paper? Oh I suppose if it goes on the floor it'll pick up, won't it? I'll try balancing it on a chair and get most of it. And then it can all get packed up afterwards. The problem being that the bottom bit with the actual plant in is sellotape to the box, which is a brilliant idea. It doesn't make it very easy to get the plant out. This is um, some serious insulation wrap right here. Use that to line the grow room in the winter. Let me skitters. <coughs> I 
most selling tape serves its purpose when you're wrapping something. It's the poor blighter at the other end that's got to unwrap it that suffers. Still, what else would you use if you didn't use sellotape? String? No, no, it's got to be done. What I'm trying to do is get everything undone so that I can unwrap it in here. And then if by chance any media has fallen out, it stays in the box all over the floor. <coughs> right, that's uh, one end sort of done. Now it's wrapped up again inside there. So in theory I should be able to just take that bit out. Yes, no? Yes. More sellotape. At least this is paper, this all that. Because I could just tear this, couldn't I? Pass the parcel, isn't it? You know, you get you get dumped with the parcel on your lap, and um, you unwrap it frantically to see if you've got a present, and all you get is another wrapper. I presume everybody's played pass the parcel. I used to play pass the person when I was at college. That used to get out of hand. <laughs> And it's wrapped up even more inside there, and we've got wires and we've got all sorts. Now if a plant's hanging on wires, you might get a clue as to what type of plant it is. Is it a Vanda? No. Is it like a Vanda? Very much so. Guess what it is yet? <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't got some sort of invoice. There we have Rhinchoridis Bangkok Sunset, a plant I have been after for years, and I mean years. <coughs> the only place I've been able to see them for sale, apart from very, very young tiny little plants, is um, Malaysia and Thailand, and um, I'm not taking the risk with UK customs actually getting the plant and trying to import it through customs without paperwork. I'm not that dark. Chances are they would just chuck the plant in the bin and if they're feeling in a nasty mood, they will come after you for you to pay the taxes and they're probably a fine. I don't believe in, do you know what? This has actually got a flower spike. I don't believe it. Well, that was unexpected. I wonder what that fluffy bit of cotton wool was. How complete is that flower spike? It's only got a few blooms on, but it's still got buds. Woo! Now that I wasn't expecting. That is a bit dehydrated. It's got a few broken roots, but um, that'll, you know, I mean, it's a vandacious type thing. Roots grow. And that's a flowering sized plant. The, the guy said it's a flowering sized plant, and these are not large plants. Quality of the leaves, a little bit broken on there. Latest leaves, pretty good. Working down from the top, left hand side, good leaf, good leaf. Tip damaged, nick out the side. Those are older leaves. That one's not bad, little ends broken. That one's got a bit of damage on it. That one's okay, that one's okay. So. More good leaves than bad, more undamaged leaves than bad. The little basket it's in, it can stay in there. And I've got a ready-made hanger, <coughs> which is far too long. Now the important thing about this little beauty, which I can't show the blooms properly, I need to wait for some new ones to open because they're all facing in funny directions. I'll, I'll do a better video on the bloom later. I can't get the fragrance at the moment, but it's been in the dark a couple of days. Delivery. I ordered this, or bought it, about a week before it was dispatched, but the guy only dispatches on Monday. I got a notification on the Sunday afternoon saying that the courier had been notified of a package to collect. On Monday, it was shown as in transit. Late on Tuesday, it had been updated to say it had arrived in the country of destination. That was Tuesday evening. 
it's now Wednesday afternoon and I've got it in my hand. It don't get much better than that. Are you paying attention Spain? Are you paying attention Italy? And in some cases Germany? It can be done. Yeah? Anyway, Ranko Ridis, Bangkok Sunset. Nice new leaf coming out. I think that's its first bloom. So I can expect more this year. When this acclimatised to living in there, I think it's going to be happy. Oh, the sun's gone in. That's lost me light. I can fix that electronically if I have to. It's not a bad little plant. <clears throat> and I say little plant because it doesn't get big. It's not like a true vanda. It's more like a mini vanda. And it doesn't grow vast. However, its flower spikes can be quite extensive. And it can bloom two, three times a year when it when it gets happy. Perhaps it should have some wine. That'll make it happy, won't it? I'm going to have some. That was in case I was going to have to get pissed off with the poor quality plant that I got. <laughs> that was before I'd replied. I'm happy with that. I did pay quite a bit for it. But um, you can't get the flipping thing. I think a few roots might get twim, trimmed for aesthetic purposes. Once you get a break in a root like that, the bottom of the root can still function occasionally up through the, the top. Well, this isn't a root basically, this is vellum and the root's inside. And as long as that's intact, sometimes they work, but they don't look so good when they're broken. And it will grow new ones. Well, that would be my job. In the under the bottom. No, it's mostly good roots on the bottom of that basket. So it, it will hydrate, which it needs doing right now. <coughs> and it will come on. And I hope to get another spike this year. And that then will be my spike. And, you know, I can let it grow and arch naturally and everything. This looks like it was propped up at one point. Because um, normally it would arch away from the plant and it's, it's arching towards it. So maybe the light was coming from this way. Not to be treated like normal, van normal vanders. If I put this up with my vanders, I will probably burn the leaves. This is not a high light vandaceous. It's more just a bright light, more like, I would say, oncidium light. And if I've got any doubts about this plant whatsoever, I should get on to Danny because she's had one for years and years, even though she almost lost it um, at one point. But I think it's recovering again now. That is not a bad plant. Would I say worth the money? Given its availability, yes. But I've never paid that much for an orchid. You're all going to say how much did you pay, so I just well flip and say, haven't I? The plant <coughs> itself was £35 and the transport was 12 Yeah, so yeah, we're looking at um, £47 in total for a single orchid. Um, that's more than twice what I've ever paid before. Um, but I think for me it's worth it, it's something I've always wanted. And although it doesn't look much now, when I get another spike on this, with some nice fresh blooms just opening, maybe these will actually be those nice fresh blooms. We can have a nice look at the colours and everything. It's basically what it says, Bangkok Sunset. If you want to laugh, go on to um, eBay and do a search for Bangkok Sunset, nothing else, just put in Bangkok Sunset and you'll get some wonderful paintings and prints and artists impression of what a sunset looks like bang in Bangkok. You won't find the flipping plant. You need to put the Ranko Reedies on the front. Um, but yeah, the colours are sunset colours. Oranges, yellows and some pinks. The pink hue you get in a, in a nice sunset through all the pollution that we create. <laughs> That's all it is. Otherwise it wouldn't have any colour. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy. I think I might have to change the hook. It's far too long. But not now because I don't want that up in the roof. I need it down from the roof to get a lower light level. And I also need to check on its temperature requirements. But um, given that Danny grew that well when she was back in Romania, where she didn't get high temperatures in her winters, it must be heat tolerant. In other words, you know, it, it will tolerate lower heat than a lot of vanders like. So cooler temperatures than a lot of vanders and lower light levels. So in theory, that's a UK orchid. Should do okay. Right, let's get that set up and um, I'll see you next time.
Thanks for dropping by. God, this camera's up so high I could stand on tippy toe to reach it. <laughs>